I bet you've seen a lot of these. They're, these are called GIFs. GIFs are fun little videos that repeat themselves over and over again. Usually they're pretty funny and we all enjoy them. But what exactly is a GIF? A GIF is actually made up of just one video. Here's what this video really looks like. That's it. So what makes a GIF repeat over and over again? Let's think about it. It's code. Code is what makes GIFs repeat over and over again. We use something called a loop. And when we put a code of something in a loop, it just repeats over and over again for as long as we tell it to. That can be forever, for as long as you're watching it, or you can put some limitations on it. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use code when we use Scratch Junior. Now that we know what loop code is, let's go ahead and code our Scratch Cat to do that. So click on the home button. That'll bring us to our projects page. Click the plus sign so that we can select our project. And what we're going to do is we're going to code Scratch Cat to walk to the bus stop. And so that's gonna be a pretty simple. First thing we need, I bet you've already guessed, is a backdrop, right? We need, we need something for our stage. So let's go up to the little picture icon and select a backdrop. Um, I'm gonna select this backdrop, but you can select whatever backdrop you'd like. Move Scratch Cat to the position you want him or her to be on the screen, and then we're ready to code. Now, we've done enough videos at this point so that you should know the very first thing we need to code is our event handler, which is the yellow block. And we both know we have choices, right? But we're going to select the green flag. Drag that down to your scripts. And now we have to think about Scratch Cat. To get to the bus stop, Scratch Cat needs to walk. So what kind of block will allow us to do that? Did you say motion block? That's right, go to the blue blocks and grab a motion block. I'm going to grab this motion block because it makes the most sense. And I wanna point out at the bottom of the motion block, it says one. That means when we click the flag, our Scratch Cat will move one step. And we can choose to keep our Scratch Cat moving one step, or we could put several steps in. But remember what we're doing with this particular program? We're going to, to program this one with a loop code. So let's just leave it at one for now, and let's select our loop block. Our loop block is located over here with the orange blocks, and you'll see it right there. I'm gonna drag that to the script area, but not, just, but not plug it in just yet. So I wanna really, for us to think about how many steps do we want Scratch to Cat to take? We don't have a huge screen, so a few steps are probably appropriate. The way it's set up now, if I were to bring the block over and plug it in with the walking block, we would see that we're going to move one step four times. And we can choose to do that if we want, or we can decide to move two steps four times. So go ahead and select what you want your Scratch Cat to walk. Just remember that you don't wanna walk so many steps that the Scratch Cat bounces off the edge or goes off the screen or something like that. So let's be reasonable and keep it within something that would be expected. So now that we've got our green flag and we've got our, our motion block and we've got our loop, really the only thing we need to do is add our end block. And those are the red blocks. We'll drag this plain end one right over here and we're ready to go. Let's go up to the presentation mode, which is the rectangle with the corners on it. And let's see if Scratch Cat works the way we planned. There he is, Scratch Cat walked right down to that bus stop. So it's all set. So my challenge to you is add another character and make that character walk to the bus stop too with, a, with using the loop block. All right, I look forward to seeing your projects. Make sure you send them to me.